I just woke up with this like <laughs> insatiable desire to draw something. So I thought I'd take you along with me and I hope you'll enjoy. Let's get into it. Probably grab my sketchbook. That might be a good place to start. There's gotta be a blank page in here somewhere. Nope, something on that one. I don't know if I'm like the only one that <laughs> accidentally skips pages every once in a while, but I like have to like go page by page just to find it. It's usually because I like have markers and the sketchbook shows markers on the other side and then I'll be like, oh, but I want to use markers today. So then I have to skip a page. <gasps> and like, I don't want to like, you know, ruin a previous marker thing with a marker thing on the other side. So I end up like skipping a page and then I forget about it. And then I do a sketchbook tour and I'm like, well, there's some empty pages. Oops. <laughs> and I guess I'd rather not do that. I don't know, just personal preference. These all seem to be pretty full. Good grief. Oh, I guess we're on the last page. This side has a little bit of marker on it, so it's not gonna get like really awesome drawings on there, but we do have this whole page, which isn't really a page, it's the back of the book. <laughs> what do I wanna draw though? There's so many options, so many awesome things. I suppose I need to start with a pencil though. Do I wanna use this pencil? I actually filled this with pink lead, but I think it's empty. Oh, no, there's one. I was having issues with this. It kind of just doesn't work. But it is cute and it has little unicorns on it. <laughs> I guess we won't be using that one. Ooh, I can sketch in pen. Why doesn't this one have a lid? And what happened to it? That one's gross. I don't use that one. Oh, I have this. This is like the chonkiest mechanical pencil on the planet. <laughs> can you see? Like, oh, it's a normal mechanical pencil. Nope. <laughs> it is 2B, which is nice. But like, look, look at that. Like, that's more like a normal pencil. Nope, twice as thick. I could use that, I suppose. I found this, <laughs> but I used the eraser. And he needs a sharpening. Give that a little twist. Ooh, beautiful. But I don't have an eraser, so I probably should find an eraser. I have this one, which I loved, but I don't know what happened. I don't know if it just got a little old, but it started to like crumble. And like, so now when I use it, like large chunks will just like fall off. And then like, I don't know, it's just like gotten dry, but it is still useful. So I keep it here. I just prefer, which I've been using a lot more lately, this, um, <laughs> <laughs> this sharpener, I don't know a brand. It's from Japan and it's been working really well. It's not dried out yet. Maybe if I keep the paper on, that will help the center from drying out. I don't know if that's even a thing. I've never heard of it before. I guess I've never actually used an eraser to the point where it died on me. I always lose it. It's kind of like chapstick, you know, erasers. Very similar. And what's actually cool about this one, it smells like strawberries. <laughs> but yeah, I've been using this one a lot more because this one just started crumbling. So I probably should retire it, but it's here. Okay, eraser, pencil. Oh, but if I do want, I can use markers on this page though, right? So I might want to use my Colerase pencil. I've been using the um, pencil extender, which was actually lovingly sent to my PO box and has been extremely handy. So thank you. As you can see, that's where my little rose color, Oop. My rose colored cool erase pencil lives. And there's the reveal. He's gotten to the point where I literally can't sharpen him anymore. I've actually cut into the metal, which scared the crap out of me because I was using my absolute favorite sharpener. And I freaked out because I really don't want to damage its integrity because it's just so important to me. So I did switch <laughs> to this guy. I think we've got a good sharpen left in him. There we go. Nice. There. That's what I call useful. <laughs> I was on the Blick website to buy more of these because I didn't want to buy like all the colors. I just wanted to buy the rose, which I like the best. And it kind of looked like they were being discontinued. I could be wrong, but that would make me very, very sad. So I'm going to have to make sure I buy those. How did I get eraser shavings? I haven't even started drawing yet. Ugh, get out of here. What should I draw though? I feel like I had something in mind. Let me think, let me think. Whenever there's like a shadow, I'm always so tempted to just like draw the same thing on top. <laughs> I don't know why. You think after you draw something, you're like, oh, I don't really want to draw that again. I don't know. It's something about having the color there already. And then you just want to like. Oh, I was going to use a pencil over here. Actually. <laughs> Did I tell you I've got little, little butterfly glitters in my nail? 
they're a little too wide so when I put them on they're a little pokies and so what I ended up doing is putting like a top coat on and it was still pokey and then I like filed it so that it was smooth and then I added another top coat which felt a little like overkill but now it's smooth. Anyway, I digress. I was going to draw something. Thinking about food, I could draw more food. I feel like I draw food a lot though, you know? Ooh, I'm kind of hungry though. I do have a snack. <laughs> Grandma over here is gonna eat a snack. <laughs> I don't know what it is, I'm just craving it. Mm. I remember just being at my grandma's house and eating these because she told us they were cookies. Which to be fair, their genetic makeup is very cookie-like. Delicious. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know about delicious, but hits the spot, you know? Like you're not gonna always want one of those, but when you want one, there's nothing else that will suffice. All right, I keep getting distracted. I should start with a circle. That's always a pretty good place to start because you have a circle, it can literally become anything. Anything you draw is made up of shapes, like circles and squares and triangles. So if you just start with a shape, you've started and then you can go somewhere, you know? Probably start here, that we have like a more room. And I'll probably like save this little spot for like my final illustration. Hmm. <laughs> All right, I got an idea. I've got a lot of quests for this. I'm thinking a dragon. <gasps> what if it's a food dragon? What's a dragon inspired by food? I'm thinking we'll start with a shape or a square. I kind of use circles and squares interchangeably for the most part. It probably doesn't matter, but it's kind of just like get grounded and just start somewhere. So it really doesn't matter what it is because you're going to turn it into what you want it to be. And like, if you think about it too much, it's going to get harder and harder and harder. So if you just do it without thinking, I feel like it's a lot better too. Cause then like not all that like pent up anticipation, you know, you just start drawing. That's why I would usually recommend just starting with like a circle, like even if you're drawing a dog. Kind of the cool thing about drawing is that you just sort of turn it into what you want. I think the biggest issue is when you like start and draw too hard or like hard to erase or you use ink or something and you're not entirely sure what you're doing, then it could be difficult. But if you start lightly, no matter what you draw, it's gonna work, you know? Like <laughs> you can turn it into what you need it to look like. Like I'm thinking of when I was drawing all those dogs. Like a lot of time I just start with a circle where the head was or if it was like a more complicated animal that like didn't have the legs and stuff that like I normally knew how to draw. I would like start with a big oval for the body so I could just see where it laid out on the page. And then from there, you can kind of figure out where you need things to extend from. But I was talking about just shapes on a page, <laughs> you know? If you just start with something, you'll get somewhere and it's wonderful, you know? That's what I think anyway. And I can show you if I just figure out where I wanna, what I wanna draw. I'll probably start with the circle. So if we have a circle, yeah. Then I like to like cut it in half sometimes too. Or this is where you can also see, you can like turn it into a square. When I do draw squares, I usually have like a curved side too. Cause I feel like that just helps me feel like it's looking a specific direction. It's not just straight at me. Cause see now my square, I feel like it looks like it's looking a little bit that way. And then from there, I could literally draw anything, you know? I could turn this simple shape into anything as long as I know what it is, you know, that I want to draw. No, <laughs> my camera turned off. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that uh, that was my idea of an April Fool's Day joke. And that might've been entirely insufferable. <laughs> How do you like my uh, strong bear? He's muscly. I've always been like very self-conscious about like making sure my intros weren't too long before I did start drawing. <laughs> so honestly, I was suffering right there along with you too, even though in the back of my head I was laughing. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm still talking and not drawing. I just meant to say goodbye. Now I've gotten in the habit of just talking. It's hard. I kind of miss you. I want to like just film an actual video now. I will be back tomorrow with a brand new video and I promise I draw something. And actually, I'm really happy with tomorrow's video. It uh, has something to do with this page. This being the last page in my sketchbook. So I think you'll like it too. Anyway, thank you guys for all the support. Probably not on this video specifically, but <laughs> in general, especially with me in the being in the hospital and everything, you guys were very patient and I really appreciate it. I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. I hope you have a delicious evening full of muscles. Bye.